Okay. Private Zoom session number two. So right now I can set this up to where I'm focused right on my hands here. And what I'm what I'm doing here with my thread. So I'm gonna knock the ISO down to uh, 50. So it's not quite so bright. And so I'm still in focus there. So my other camera that I have so we'll just cut into that. Now that one I don't have remote control of. So this one is just, this camera is just, it is what it is. I've not got any extra control. So I have to focus that camera specifically for a spot, which is right on, basically right on the bobbin. Um, so now I'm gonna switch it back over the main camera and still remain in focus. Now I got the bobbin back in focus. Hands are just slightly out of focus. like a little better way to do this. It'd be nice to be able to do two cameras at once, but camera one and camera two, but I don't think that's going to be a possibility. Not the way I have it set up anyway. And for Zoom, Zoom class, Zoom session, that this, this setup is just fine at, the, at this point here. So the quality looks pretty good. A little pinching that I'm doing that little stop and start allows the twist, controls the, the twist that's going up into this long draw here. way back here if I want to move it just it just depends and it's good if you have dark thread and dark pants when you're looking down versus looking at from the side like you're seeing it. Um, kind of blends into the pants and it's hard to get any contrast to see. So that's what um, later like um, sheets or bibs or something to put over the legs so you can actually contrast. So if I was doing white, wool over the blue dark blue pants um i'd be fine because i can see uh, visually i don't have to just go by feel so 
right now, a lot of it's by feel. So I can see it a little better in the video, but looking straight down on it is not the same thing. And I do not have a camera that's straight over my head. At least not at this point. But here, this is the nice, soft, fluffy, herded roving and that gives a nice thin the nice thin thread so again getting it on a contrasting surface would be the would be the ideal way to have that done. So we're gonna end this one. This was just a private one, um, only to show what the uh, Zoom can do. And we'll put a focus back in there on the bobbin. And we will talk to you all later. Thanks for watching and hope we can get something going where we can get a zoom class if somebody needs to have some help we can do this um, can't do it every day can't do it every night but we can work something out so anyway we'll talk to y'all later and thanks for watching